Hey guys, it's Mia here and today we're back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about some tick some ticks, <laughs> some tips and tricks on uh, how to make your technical drawings much easier and faster to do because time is money and we are not going to be wasting any of them, especially the many. I'm just kidding. Both of them are very useful. Um, and our sanity as well. We're going to be saving our sanity. Trust me. So, essentially, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take take you guys through a few things that I do when I'm doing my technical drawings. And these tips are making my technical drawings take way less time they than they would have, and they're saving my sanity. So, before we get started, you guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as I am making these videos all the time and I'm trying to help you guys as much as I can. And if you guys have any questions or anything else that you are, would like to suggest, I always make the videos that you guys ask for. So don't forget to leave the comments below and I will touch upon anything that you guys want me to do. If you have any questions after this video about what I'm about to show you, don't forget to also leave those in the comments below. And leave a like on this video for the YouTube algorithm to push us to the stars, as I always say. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get started. So tip number one is going to be to essentially steal like an artist, as my teacher used to tell me. So essentially what we're going to be using is other people's hard work to make our work easier and to make it look like it's ours. Essentially, that's what it is. And this is not wrong because it doesn't matter. It's just a technical drawing. You're using your own creativity to make your design and you're using other people's already made designs to kind of direct how you're going to draw out your technical drawing in a more precise way. So there is nothing wrong with what I'm, at, what I'm, with what I'm about to tell you guys. So let's just get an example. So this is a, a few drawings that I've done. And this, for example, here is a drawing or that I made of a jacket that I would like to make. Now, if I'm going to send this to a factory, I need to ensure I have a technical drawing. And, well, what we can do is we can use the drawings of other people's jackets and kind of help them, uh, kind of help ourselves to draw this jacket in our a technical format it doesn't mean that i'm stealing as i said this just proves my point i designed this myself i came up with the ideas the changes are done in my own way and so this is all my work so it doesn't really matter and i can show you guys here how i did it for myself in a very very simple way here uh, i don't know if you guys can see because it's kind of two layers of uh, paper on it but i kind of have my uh, technical drawing done here in a very very simple way I could have made it to be honest a bit better a bit nicer but this was very quick this is one of the quickest things and it kind of just showed the basics of my design so that is essentially what that is and if you want you can even then use it in other ways for example to show color and ways in which you are doing your work so let's just say that I am doing that so Come on, don't you dare come back on me. As I was saying, I'm going to bring you guys to my uh, screen, my laptop screen. Now, what I've searched up here is technical drawings and fashion. Because if you just write technical drawings, it will show you like architecture and other things, which we're not interested in. So, as you guys can see, there's def definitely other people that have shared their technical drawings. And we can use these as templates for ours. So what I tend to do is, for example, let's just say I wanted to make a jacket like I was saying. So what I will do is I'll scroll down and I'll kind of try and see if there's a jacket that has similar features to the one I have. For example, we have this here. Uh, let's just click on that one. And what I like about this, and it's similar to my jacket, is that it has the welt pocket here. And it has these like sort of flowy, um, the bottom part is very flowy and very nice. So what I can do is I can then screenshot this because sometimes it's very difficult to copy things from uh, Pinterest. I screenshot that, take myself to, um, it's going to take that one away, take myself to my Illustrator file and I'm going to do a mask, uh, a mask, oh! 
I'm going to make a mask here on my uh, item, make it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to start essentially collecting a few images of similar things to my jacket. So that's one thing. Maybe then I need to look for a color that is similar to the one I had in my drawing. So I'm going to keep searching. If you want, you can make even more precise searches. Maybe this is similar to the one I have in terms of the color. So what I can do is I can come here. I can then maybe search a bit more. Well, this one looks quite similar to the one I had. So let's just take, let's just take this one. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to put it on my illustrator. And what I would then do later is uh, I would, for example, start out with one layer them and put, put them in different layers on Illustrator underneath each other and make them their opacity lower and figure out how this kind of fits together. And this is very, very helpful because it means that I'm just tracing lines instead of trying to come up with a line that doesn't really, um, maybe it's not very accurate and these look very accurate. The other thing that you guys can do, uh, which I do suggest you do, is use something like this. Now, the reason why I would suggest using something like this is that, for example, if you guys just give me... Oh, no. If you just bear with me one second. Uh, for example, if I use this or something like... I don't know. Any of these, to be honest. Any of these are good. As long as they're always in the same pose and the same, like, just straight up pose they're all useful so for example let's just say we use that uh this is sending me to amazon i'm just gonna print screen it and what i can use it is as a basis so then what i can do on illustrator is i take my image i make this for example the background image and i layer the other two uh on top of it uh and so we can keep our proportions very stable so that is an idea that you guys can use when making your patterns. This makes everything much faster and easier, as I said. Um, adding on to that, when you are using Illustrator, what I would suggest, which we will talk about later, is start by making half of the garment, especially if it's very mirrored. You make half of it, and then what you do is you mirror it. And that way you save even more time because you only have to really make uh, half of the work. Than you would have if you did it all also it makes it very precise for example sleeves they're more likely to be the same thing so you just copy paste it uh in a mirrored way um trousers same thing just a simple shirt same thing very simple if there's anything that overlaps for example here in the middle that is something that you can then edit and you can do it in a very simple way you can see that they mirror the hey look this is the exact same flow as this one on the side is the exact same thing even the ones behind look they did it they did what i said they did the mirroring they just layered things together to make it nice so that is exactly what everyone does to make their drawings much faster now another thing that i would like to talk about is you can use the garment itself so let's just imagine a situation where we do have a garment already at home that is very similar and you're really struggling to find something online that is sort of appealing to what we want. We actually, before I continue, I just remembered something. What you guys can do is I do have a page here on Pinterest, um, which does have only literally technical drawings they are all very interesting and they're very varied in their nature so we do have a lot of skirts we have a lot of sleeves and you have a lot of things with gathers which for me personally tends to be the more difficult part gathers and how to make them look natural so these are all very good um examples here and even belts and so on and a lot a lot a lot of templates for different types of colors and pockets and anything you can even think of I have it here so if you guys want to use that i will leave a link in the description of this video to this page and it will allow you guys to um go and look at it if you guys oh 
if you guys are really um, struggling with your own work and if you really don't want to spend time searching so further saving you guys time I have some here so yeah that's just a tip before I continue so as I was saying imagine you want to make a flat drawing from a garment you already have so let's just say this shirt I would maybe struggle to draw this or I maybe struggle to understand how this kind of flows so what I could do this might not be the best example but what I, you can do is you can then you put this on the floor so if I show you guys a demonstration on my floor so you just... as I was saying you guys you get your top or whatever it may be sorry about that you place it on the floor like that and what you do is you sort of place it how it would uh you don't need to have the hanger i just i just left it there so i have my shirt here you have however you want oh my hair is in the way you have however you want this to fall and so on you kind of have that there and you straighten up everything that you have on this top or you can even just do half of it as i said because then later on you can mirror it so you just lay everything down and you take a picture of it uh this is not the best way of laying it but you put everything make it nice and even oh my god i'm stepping on it you can choose to then place it either for example you can place it down like this you can place it at an angle like that sometimes people do this they kind of like fold it over and they do that and it just um helps you figure out how you want to display it and this is an easy way to do that as you guys can see, uh, there is different ways of doing this. This is slightly longer, but it's just really if you want something specific that you really can't. You just can't find it online. And it's just so specific to what you're doing that you need to lay it down. Uh, because a flat drawing is essentially what it would look like if it is laid in a flat surface. That's where the name, com the name comes from. So that is what you can do for that. Then I would do is I would just stand here, take a picture. Maybe I will take this half of the drawing i will then trace it and then on illustrator and then i will flip it and if you want you can even merge all of the tips together to make your drawings better and faster so that is the option that you guys have there so yeah guys that's pretty much it on the tips uh if you have any questions as i said leave them in the comments link for that uh, page will be in the uh, description of this video and that is pretty much it i don't think i have any more tips for you guys on this uh space just checking out my list mirroring coloring also one last tip something that i made a lot of mistakes on in the beginning when i was doing technical drawings is i didn't make loops so for example if i am drawing a sleeve i did not join up the line to make a like a shape essentially a closed shape because and then that creates problems later on when you want to color it in for example you want it to fill it black gray whatever it may be you need to have enclosed shapes so that you can essentially paint it all like you can fill paint the area so make sure you guys do that and sometimes using layers on illustrator helps to not get things mixed up and that is pretty much it for this video guys so i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like and i'll see you guys on the next video have a beautiful day bye guys